Hello everybody, welcome to this kind of a uh, down vlog, very, very sad vlog. Um, today is Saturday, March 14th, 2020. And as I'm writing this, there's this uh, coronavirus sp spreading throughout the world. It's causing a lot of panic, causing a lot of anxiety causing a lot of un, uncertain, uncertainty in the world. Um, and it hasn't gone past your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. As many of you guys who've been long um, viewers of the vlog, I am a poker dealer here in Las Vegas. I 99% of the money that I make as a poker dealer is through tips. Um, as you guys probably know, a lot of the poker rooms have been closing down. The Wynn, the Mirage. I saw the Commerce in LA is closing down for a couple of weeks. And not just that, but other uh, restaurants, anything in the service industry here in Las Vegas has been slowly closing or temporarily shutting down for a few weeks. I even saw that the MGM properties were uh, laying off employees. And this really, really affects me because I fit into that category. You know, I have a lot of anxiety right now. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little scared because this could, and this probably will affect me because right now, traveling to a place like Las Vegas is not a priority to, of people right now. You know, they canceled all the major sporting events so March Madness is gonna happen. And March Madness is a big part of the revenue generated by Las Vegas. It was supposed to be an exciting time. You know, I was supposed to make some money and work during this uh, supposed, supposedly very, very fun time here in Vegas. One of the busiest times here in Las Vegas. But now, as I said, there's a lot of uncertainty. A lot of uh, doubt, a lot of uh, scaredness. And right now, as I'm recording this, I'm not sure what's gonna happen to me. I'm not gonna sure what's gonna happen to my job. And I'm not sure how it's gonna affect me financially because, you know, Las Vegas is a very, is a, is, is a ta city, no matter how much it's growing, is a town based on tourism and when you don't have tourism, you don't have business. And when you don't have business, you're not gonna make any money. So a lot of us here have been feeling the uh, effects of it. I wanted to share with you um, some of the anxiety I've been feeling. I've talked to a few people about it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's rough right now, it's rough. And um, you know, I've been thinking about it a lot you know because like I said it's my life being a poker dealer is my livelihood yes I know I do eBay yes I know uh, my wife has a job that's not related to the casino industry but that comes to a point where I have to start planning for what's the inevitable this is it seems like this coronavirus uh, pandemic is going to get worse rather than get better. And um, I don't know. You know, I just, uh, all we can do is wait, um, do the things to stop the spread of coronavirus, you know, wash your hands, um, don't be around a bunch of people, you know, be, just be healthy. Uh, the question is now is how long this is going to last and how long it's going to affect um, people like me who work in the service industry. How long it's going to take for this all to pass. And I got this feeling by just how, it, how the city thought Las Vegas is. That it's going to be a while before um, we re fully recover and go back to normalcy. I mean... The word, the word normal probably isn't going to be in people's vocabulary for a long time. 
So what am I doing in the meantime? Well, right now at the poker room that I work at, they haven't closed it yet, but I got a feeling that it may be coming sooner rather than later. So I gotta be prepared. But all I can do is just go on with my lives and the people that work in the service industry, like I do, just go on with the lives, do what we gotta do to make um, ends meet, to try to get through probably some, probably the, one of the toughest times I can remember in this world. It's, it's just, it's not a good time. It really isn't a good time for people in Las Vegas. I, and I shouldn't say Las Vegas. I should say anybody that works in the service industry anywhere in the world. Um, you know, I got some friends who work in the sports book. You know, all the sports being canceled. It's, it's rough for them. Waiters, bartenders, poker dealers. The uncertainty, it's its palpable. You can just feel it. So anyway, I just want to give that update. Um, I'm still going to try to make videos, of course, and give you an update of my situation and the situation of the people that I work with, the people around me. And hopefully, um, this will all pass. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.